really quick before this video starts i do have cut sections inside of this video if you guys just want to see me talk about the map a little bit or if you guys strictly just want to see the gameplay of this new map there will be chapters you guys can go ahead and go to what part of the video you would like to and uh yeah thanks for watching hey guys what's going on got some black powder updated this is going to be the first video you guys are going to see of the guts and black powder update i got all of these pre-recorded i'm ready to pump these out i got some footage during the dev testing and i didn't want to release it until now when the update dropped so hello there and welcome to one of the new maps inside of Guts and Black Powder called Cobb or Ka. I'm pretty sure in German it's like Ka. This is a new map set place in Germany and it is a nighttime map. And this map is also snowy as well and it's cold. And you can tell because your character will now exhale their breath and you can see it. This will also be applied to Vardahus Fortress, which is another snowy map. This is going to be another objective map and I'm not going to lie, this entire objective map is probably by far the best objective map I've ever played in Guts and Black Powder. They executed this perfectly. This map's not too big. You pretty much progress through this town and then you have to cross a bridge into a castle, but we'll go step by step in what to do in this map. So when you start this map, your first thing to do is to progress through the town. That's what it tells you to do. Basically, as you're going through the town, you have to find these supplies and put it on the cart and push that cart all the way to the castle, which is going to be the end game here. You have to collect firewood. You got to collect meat. You got to collect bedding. There's some other stuff you have to collect as well, but as you have this cart in the town, you have to go Go through the buildings and collect all the stuff and put it onto the cart and then basically just push that cart and you will have some obstructives that are blocking your way when you're pushing the cart like for example there's this one part where you have to have two people pull down this barricade or whatever it is so then you can continue to push the cart you will also meet an area where the bridge is blocked off that's connected to the castle you have to find a cannon and push that cannon and blow up the barricade so you can continue to push that cart while you're pushing the cart to reach the castle you will have to lower the drawbridge that's connected to the castle and in the dev testing server I did see people throw grenades to the window to blow it up and let it down. After that drawbridge lowers, you can continue to push the cart and finally park it inside of the castle. Basically, your next step is to get to the top of the castle and talk to these two people. I'm pretty sure this is some German officer. I, I don't know. Okay. In the supporter chat, they would know. There's always that one guy who just has a link to everything, and I'm sure he would know who this guy is. But as of right now, you'll meet two people. One of them is infected, by the way. He will give you a key. And after you do take that key, just wait a little bit. There is like an animation that plays. It's a little cutscene here at the top of the castle. He will turn fully infected into a runner and he will kill the other guy. And then you also have to kill that runner or he will kill you. After you get that key though, you got to go all the way back down into the cellar area here. There'll be like a bunch of cage doors with zombies behind it. And this is probably the best scene I think I've ever seen in this game. Okay. This reminds me of World War Z. After you use the key down there to unlock whatever it is, all of the zombies will break down the cellar doors and infinite zombies will spawn down there. And basically you have to survive on this spiral staircase inside of the castle while you're getting bombarded by zombies. And this is not like a catacombs raid. Take the catacombs raid times like five or 10. I mean, there are so many zombies that spawn here and there are also groups, hordes of runners that will spawn too. I'm not even like 50 or hundred of them. That's what it seems like. Just big ass hordes of runners that will spawn in a mixture of all of these zombies that are chasing you up the stairs. You just have to survive. It's like a couple of minutes. I don't know how long, but you got to survive the zombies on the the staircase and after you do survive and kill the remaining stragglers you got to go back up to the top of the castle raise the flag and you guys are successful. I love how this map plays out, and I love nighttime maps too. Overall, for an objective map, this feels super refreshing. People are gonna love it, and I wanna know what you guys think about this map in the comment section down below. When this video does drop, I will be streaming this update, so if you guys wanna go ahead and check out the other videos I have on the update too after this one, or go ahead, hop into the live stream. We will be playing this map together with you guys, and it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna love this update. I hope you guys are enjoying this update so far. This is one of the new, uh, two new maps in this update. This is called the Cobb map, but but in German, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Ka. The B is silent. Uh, it's a nighttime map that's cold, and you can tell because your breath, you can see your breath as you exhale now. Look at that. And this will also be applied to Vardahus Fortress. So that's pretty dope. But our whole objective when we first spawn is to grab all of the supplies and put it on this cart. And we got to push this cart through this town. We got to collect supplies while we're pushing the cart through the town. I think we grabbed everything, right? Were there more stuff? Oh, we probably have to get the, the bedding and the sheets. We, we forgot that last time. We grab all the bedding and the sheets and the pillows. There we go. And the firewood. And the more supplies you grab, it'll display on the bottom here, as you can see. And it'll make your character slower, too. So you can physically see who is carrying what. 
Um, but I think anyone can place a supply when people pick it up, it looks like, because it just disappeared for some reason. You guys got everything? There we go. Nice. Now we got to push the wagon down the road. <clears throat> Bear with me. I woke up like half an hour ago. I'm on... I know I said I'll stop drinking Red Bull, but I am opening a Red Bull. I just need that quick caffeine. It'll take a little bit to make coffee. Alright, proceed through the basement, which is right to the left of where the cart is for the people in the match. We have to travel through this basement and get to the top. We have to get to the surface. Oh, bomb! Oh no, we need him. That's unfortunate. That was a priest, wasn't it? That was a priest we just lost. We have to travel- okay, someone else- we have to travel through this big basement um, in order to reach the top and use the cannons to blow up a door so we can grab the other supplies that we need. Yeah, here's the cannon, so let's blow up that door. Nice. Now we can grab the other supplies and bring it to the cart. Thank you, Crazy Swirl, for subbing. And everyone else that I missed, I'm sorry if I missed it. Okay, let's grab the muskets here. I don't know how much you can carry, so let's test that if there's any more stuff for me to grab. Powder keg. I got two powder kegs and two muskets. You can see how slow my character is, though. Yes, this is one of the two new maps. I like this feature where it makes you slow. You can you can now see who carries stuff, which is cool. All right, coming through. There we go. And I'm pretty sure last round we collected everything. It's just... Yeah, okay, no, we didn't. Yeah, there we go. Hold the barricade blocking the road. We must have not had everything. Now we have to have people grab the ropes and pull down the barricade here. So we can progress through the town some more. There we go. And I'm pretty sure it's faster if you have more people pushing the cart. Which is cool. Oh, someone just died. He turned into a runner. I am so dead. Oh! Blunderbuss for the save. Never thought I'd be saying that in my life. Oh no, it added a bunch of stuff. You guys want- I could talk about some of the other stuff they added. Two new equipment, hang on. Okay, so at this part here, we got to keep loading this cannon to blow up the barricade that's blocking the entrance to the castle. Or the bridge, I should say. And you do have to load the cannon quite a bit. I think last time we loaded it like four or five times to blow up this tiny-ass barricade right here, but... That's fine. Infinite zombies will spawn here, so we just gotta keep fending for our lives until they eventually blow that up. Alright. Let's push that cart. Oh, was bro getting healed? Oh! Probably not the best place to heal. Are we moving it? Yeah. Here, let's get everyone right here. Don't fall in the water. You can fall in the water, so heads up. We can't swim. Swimming wasn't invented in the 1700s. It was actually in the 1850s. So they just drowned until then. There's a runner. All right, there we go. Now we got to toss grenades through that, that window up there to blow it up and put the drawbridge down. You can grab grenades from the supply here. And now you just chuck it over. That's not what I meant to do. Um, maybe if you, like, aim right above this window. Oh, hey, I think that actually worked. That did not work. Watch out you don't ricochet and blow yourself up. 
Try aiming for that window way up there. Put your mouse over it and then throw it. And that should land it in there. Someone just blew themselves up. Oh, someone made it through. There we go. Man, I cannot wait to see how public lobbies are going to figure that one out. For people first, for the people who <laughs> are going to play this for the first time, they're going to have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh god. We got some barrels here. I think we lost someone. We still got quite a bit alive. All right, and we got to progress up the uh, up to the castle, up to the top. Don't start it yet, though. Don't don't start the top yet, though. We want to show everyone what it looks like. All right, up we go. Got a runner. Zombies just chilling down there. Another runner. Ouchies. I'm gonna go start it. Oof. Oh yeah, I think um the new regiment pack is for the cavalry pass, which um when we get to the top I'll show you. There's a uh, cavalry is a regiment now, I think, right? Actually, I could probably just show you right now. Nope, I don't see it there, so maybe we'll have to we'll have to check it out later. We'll we'll check out a lot of the stuff in the update on the new endless map that we'll play next, because then we can just kind of chill. Someone getting bitten? Okay, nice. All right, let's come to the tower, everyone. Oh god. Oh god. Barrel. Back it up. Bro thinks he pays rent. No, no sir. Alright, here we go. Do you have a key? We take the key. Take it now and finish this. Finish this for Prussia. Those devils are locked down in the cellar. Once you take the castle, we will secure the way out for the rest of the army. And then we wait a little bit, and um, he should turn into a runner and kill this other man here. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's actually historically accurate. Is it just me or is that guy on the right have like a mop on his head? What is the point of that? Did they think that was supposed to be like... Oh. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Oh boy. It didn't look like he bit him or anything. It kind of looked like he just gave him a little slap and he fell over. He passed like a kidney stone or something. There will be hella zombie. We don't need everyone to go down right away. Oh, let's get rid of that barrel. Basically, we'll unlock the cellar door and all of the zombies will break down the cellars and just start rushing in. All right, should we shoot? Do we have a grenade? I don't. I should have grabbed more grenades off the supply cart. I'm going to blow this up, so stand back. Okay. Ooh, there's a little rifle kick there too, if you guys saw that. You got, like, recoil on your guns now when you shoot. Alright, get ready. Here they come. I think we have to go down there and activate something. I don't exactly know, though, but... Okay, I'm going down. Here we go. Oh, look at how cool this looks. Look at all the little zombies grabbing. Sticking their hands out like they want food or something. You don't get no food. Alright, I'm gonna go open this door. Everyone, stay back. Here we go. Get out of here! Come back, Caden! Ooh, good priest gameplay. Get back. Back up the staircase. Oh, someone's down there? Oh, not anymore. He dead. Yeah, there's way too many. Oh, boy. Alright, get ready. They broke the first barricade. Oh, there's a bomber. I'm sorry, I tried to save you. They kept grabbing you. Another bomber. 
Oh, oh, they're just gonna keep blowing up everything, aren't they? They they're like strategically placing these bombers, bro. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, there we go. Look, there's another bomber though. I can't even charge. Oh god, here comes all the runners. Here, back it up. Get behind the barrel for this one. Oh, I'm on fire. And someone fell. <laughs> We're so dead. We're so dead. How am I alive? Oh, what? The priest came in clutch. Oh, the priest is dead. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I don't think you can heal me right now. I'm gonna be honest. We just gotta keep keep taking them down. There's another freaking barrel. Alright, here we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm getting bit again! In this solemn hour, it is a consolation to recall and dwell upon our repeated efforts of peace. All have been ill-starred, but all have been faithful and sincere. This is of the highest moral value, and not only moral value, but practical value. Gentlemen, at this present time, because the wholehearted concurrence of scores of millions of men and women whose cooperation is indispensable and whose comradeship and brotherhood are indispensable is the only foundation upon which the trial and tribulation of the modern world can be endured and surmounted to. This moral conviction alone affords that ever fresh resilience which renews the strength and energy of people in long, doubtful, and dark days. Kill the remaining stragglers, here we go. We're at the end of the map, lads. Hey. Watch out, you don't get don't get in the minigun beam! Oh, I did not mean to shoot you. I mean, dang it, the runner got him. Guys, y'all saw that, right? He attacked me first. That was self-defense. Get out of here. Raise the flag. Raise the flag at the top of the tower. We did it, men. Raise the flag. Yes, sir.